Steve's off today, but he filed this Smart Money Monday report about how to make a key investment. It sounds like a good idea, right? Buy another home or a condo, rent it out, make some extra money, but just be careful. Make sure that you can make it work. Jack Smythe here from Bank of Hawaii. What are the benefits? Let's start with this. The benefits of owning an investment property. Well, Steve, if you finance the purchase of an investment property in a area that's ideally situated, whether it's near businesses or a high commuting area or maybe near a nice vacation spot, you can uh, attract tenants and possibly generate a nice rental income cash flow. So now that I thought about it, I put my money together. What do I need to know before I do it? Well, financing an investment property is different from financing the purchase of a, a property you're going to live in. Uh, generally, the interest rate on, on investor loans tend to be a little higher. Uh, you might need to come in with a larger down payment. Uh, if you're going to use the rental income for qualifying, the lender may ask you to provide some sort of rental management experience. And you know it's really important to get pre-qualified by a lender before you make any offers to purchase. And also remember, there's always a chance the property could be vacant at times. Okay, and let's go with that because you can't use that extra money if nobody's living there. Then you're paying two mortgages. What happens if I don't find a tenant? Well, you know, you still have to pay your mortgage. Uh, that's why it's so important to carefully analyze your finances to make sure that you can carry these debts in case of possible uh, tenant vacancies. So a lot of people eventually down the line, they're tired of renting, there, there's so much that goes into that. They want to sell. What do they need to know about selling their investment property? And one thing is if the property increases in value, you may be able to, to sell it for a nice return on your investment and it could be better than if you had the money sitting in the bank or possibly invested in the stock market. Interesting. Lots to think about. So just if you're going to do this, just make sure that you can afford it and be careful. Jack Smythe here from Bank of Hawaii. Uh, all the information about this is going to be on the website, Hawaii News Now. I'm Stephen Wehar.